Welcome my friends and here is Nerd79 with another product review. Today we're going to review the Jane Urso Black Series figure. And there she is. Just like she is in the movie. I believe this is when they were on one of the planets at that time. It was like a jet of the planet she was on. So there she is. And first and foremost let's move her out of the way over on the side here let's take a good look at this packaging now once again it is the Star Wars black series and the red insert inside that's kind of interesting and there she is Jane Ursa herself warning do not small any of these parts Hasbro and there's Jane Ursa ages four and up and like I said, Sergeant. Sergeant. Oh, there it is. Here's the side of the box. Just says Jane Orsa. It says Jane across here, too. I'm going to try to say Jane Orsa, but it kind of gets cut off right there. Top of the box. The window you can see to the top of it. Little hanger thing. This side, red, big red one. This is number 22 in the series. And then on the back, let's let the camera back up. Black Series, number 22, Jen Ursa from Jetta. And then there's the bio and multiple language, hooray for languages. There's the product shot from the front of the box. It's well done in a, kind of a gray toned Disney. Once again, all the product information. Do not swallow anything in here. Websites, if you want them, there they are. And, yeah, bottom of the box, just all that pretty cool stuff on the box so that is it for the box so bringing back the toy and there it is ah uh, this is from the black series i wasn't really impressed with this one i like the uh one from the first the last star wars movie when they had i believe it was a uh, character ray but let's take a good look at this thing. Let's bring this up close. Let's take a good look at that head sculpt. Kind of looks like she's looking up. Like that. Why aren't you focusing? There. Yep. Little pink on the lips there. Eyes are done in like a white black. The hood can be moved around, I think. Is that soft plastic? Look like they did do the hair on her. So you check it out. So the hair is even painted. The jacket. The other part of the jacket can be moved out. There we go. Outer part of the jacket can be moved out. It's made that soft plastic. And you see a lot of these toys on this thing here. Can be moved up, moved down. Articulation. You know, we'll look at that in a minute here. Paint here, they got the little stripe right down the thing. She does come with this accessory gun that you can hold in her hand. I do believe you can possibly you bend this thing back like that. You can get the gun into the thing. There you go. And you just have to pop that forward. Oh, it actually comes loose there. That, that even looks better. Didn't know I did that. So you can strap the gun in like that on her side. I have done that silver and black. It's also that rubbery plastic as well. And they got a little bit of brown, a little bit of that green there, a little gray, tan. Hands are done in like a, like a glove type hand. A little bit silver here, where these little pin looking things are. A little computerized unit there, pockets. You open up this thing and she just got the typical gray t-shirt looking thing underneath. This is one piece. This is a different piece on her. It can can be moved, it can be moved up and down. Oh, I like the detail in the back. Look at that detail in the back. Check that out. Like I said, the paint, the stripe. When you get down to the boot, the leg area, molding that black plastic. Once again, that's not actually attached. Really good detail on the clothing. It does look like she, you know, doesn't go from place to place. Then you come down to the foot. You got a little silver buckle right there. That is good detail. These are what I these black series. They got really good detail. And then there's all the little stuff on the back. Where they put all the product information on the things always on the foot. 
So now time to articulation. The head can move a full 360. She can look down, she can look up, and a little wibbly wobbly. Arms can move up that far. They can do a full 360. Full 360. There is that there is a, this motion here, so you can have that motion. Arm has a elbow pivot. Elbow goes can go up that far, back that far. There is a wrist thing can go 360, see wrist. And it can go back and forth. It's on the double hinge like thing, back and forth, back and forth that way, up that way. Come to the hips, there is a kind of like a chest crunchy uh, upper hip swivel. Uh, nothing at the actual hip itself. And legs, she can not do the full splits. That's about that far as it can go. It can go about that far back, that far forward. Come down to the knee. The knee is on, if you can see, it's on a double hinge. So I'm guessing at the... There we go. It can do almost a f go bend that far forward, that far forward, that far back. Uh huh. Little ankle tilt here. Is there, there's not even a. Oh, there's a thigh sole. Not much of one. It's really tight. These are really tight joints. So you're going to have to play with a little bit. So you got ankle swivel and you got ankle tilt both ways, both directions. Then the foot can go forward, can go up, and that's pretty much for articulation of this toy. And like I said, it does come with a gun, so let's pull that gun out. Let's take the gun out, and let's just set her down like this. Let's lay her down. She's fine. Now here is the gun. There it is. Really good molded detail. Of this I like this paint, the paint job here. Um, as you can see, there is, like, detail in this gun. Really good detail. You know, I'm very well impressed with the detail of this weapon. Even right down, there's actually a barrel hole right there. That's very rarely you ever see that in them. And like I said, it can be held. If you look at this hand here, it has, like, like it's holding a gun. So you can put the gun in her hand. And just match up the finger hole. It looks like she's actually holding it about ready to pull the trigger. Which I think that's kind of cool. And this has a little, it detaches here. And you just need to push it back in when you don't have the gun in there or you don't want it out. So there we go. And there we go. We're focusing. It takes a while sometimes for this thing to focus. But there we go. Jane Orso. This is, and this is basically what the Ash figure is outside the toy. Now, it doesn't come with a card like the Transformers do. I wish they did. I think it would be kind of cool if they came with a card because I do like cards. Um, but there she is. I actually, I'm not 100% sold on this one. But it is a good likeness of the of the actress who plays it. Um, I like the detail. This Black Series is very well detailed. It's definitely worth the money that you pay for it. It's a very good detailed oriented action figure and light doesn't do nothing look at that but once again it is a good black series uh, figurine it's very good I'll give it a thumbs up so once again yes I do like this toy so, so this is my closing this is a shorter video than the most I would say be proud be a geek be a nerd this is Star Wars, Star Wars. I love Star Wars. A lot of many people out there do. So, if you like Star Wars and you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget that if you want to my channel, you subscribe to it. Don't forget to put that bell notification down to be updated to all of my vlogs and product reviews coming out in the future. So once again, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And down below you will see all the stuff for the social media. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Well, I'm on Facebook. Yeah, I will be. Trust me. Watch out for those updates. You, watch out for the update. But yeah, Twitter, Instagram. 
I'm on those social medias right now with my channel. Just gotta type in Nerd79, you'll find me. So, once again, thank you for watching. Please give a like. Go to my social medias, they will be down below. Once again, be a nerd, be a geek, be proud. And remember, I like you. That's right, you are you're a good person, you're one of a kind. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>